Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a dump shape crinoline line with bow. Okay, so for this I'll be using this crinoline, red crinoline, and I need four pieces. So the first piece for my dome shape is going to be 21 inches. The second piece is 19 inches for my bow. Then the next bow will be 14 inches in length and the last bow i'm going to cut out 10 inches for the last bow okay so now let's get started the first thing i'm going to do now is to take my main head piece that's the dome shape and then i'll take it together like this and then glue them together using my gum on the edge so i'm going to add a dab of uhu gum and then I'm going to glue it together like this and I'll repeat the same for the other edge okay so I've gummed it I had to take that off camera because crinoline doesn't it's a uh, deal because the glue I used actually takes time to dry okay so I've glued the two edges together the next thing I'm going to do now is to take my needle and thread and then I'm going to run a loose or running stitch like this then i'll draw it drag drag it together to form my doom okay so from here now i'm going to start sewing it using my very loose stitches so the first one i'm going to tie it to secure it together so that i'll be able to drag okay be careful that your threads are not tangling and make sure that you use a matching thread okay so once i secure it like this i'm going to start running my loose stitches all the way down like that okay so once you get to the end like this with your running stitch you're just going to drag it together to form your dome okay so you can see what i'm doing i'm dragging it together so that i have a smaller piece like this so once they are all together they are going to twist one end to the other so you twist it twist it from one end to the other to form the shape that you want so you just twist and check see i'm taking one end like this and i'm twisting it in a way okay i hope you see this this is this is the first this is the second i'm placing them over each other so that i can have a beautiful dome shape like this so once I have it like this, I'm going to sew it together using my needle and thread to attach it, okay? So I'm going to tie it securely like this. So if you have a dummy, you can actually use that to check what your, what your dome is looking like, okay? So I'm placing this on my dummy head and I think I like what I have. So I'm just going to tie it. And then I will focus on my bow. So I will set this aside now and then bring in my bow. I'm trying to achieve this. I've done one of the bows. So I'm just going to take my crinoline. I'll fold it to two sides like this equally. So you can actually get the midpoint first before you start folding it. But before I start folding it, if you check your crinoline, you will see that on one edge of it, there are threads coming out like this and it doesn't look nice. So I'm going to first of all remove these threads by cutting it off. So I did that on my dome shape also. You need to remove the threads. They don't look nice. So I'll just cut it off and remove the thread. You can see the thread. So I remove all of it before I form my bow. Okay, so I've removed all the threads. Now you can see my two sides are looking the same. So, like I was saying, you can determine the midpoint of your fasten of your crinoline line, and then you fold it towards the midpoint like this to form your bow. So once you have it at the midpoint like this, I just I'm just going to pleat it a bit. So I'm going to make pleats. The edges are quite sharp so you can actually burn it before you do this or you cover the edges with the bias 
so I'm going to pleat it in the middle like this sorry and you have to grip, <laughs> grab it very well because crinoline is quite slippery okay so I hope you can see what I'm doing once I have it like this I'm going to pleat it to form my bow okay okay so I have my bow looking like this I'm going to shape it in a way that it's looking presentable and you sure that you have it at the center both sides equal to each other so once you have it and you're sure that they look equal I'm just going to take my thread and then I'm going to use it to tight it together very well so that I can hold it in place for me so using my thread I'm going to wrap it around this and then tighten it together and making sure that I don't lose my bow shape you can see that I'm adjusting it with my hand as I tie so once I have it secured I'm just going to tie it and then do the next bow okay so that is how you form your bow so I'm tying it now using a matching thread this my thread is actually not matching I don't have a red thread so I'm using something very close okay you should always use a matching thread and then you cut it off so I'm going to ship it the way I want and I have my bow so I'm going to do the next one now. okay so I have my three bows ready this is the 19 inches the 14 inches and the 10 inches bow so I'm going to be sewing them to my dome shape to my ready-made dome shape so I'll take the, the biggest one first and then place the second one on it so you can arrange it anyhow you want so this is the first you can pla actually place it like this you can see or you just place the two together and the three on top of it so have your three bow like this or you can just place the two and then turn the last one like this so it depends on the design that you wish to go for early okay so i'm going to place my bows like this the first one the second one and then the last one so using my thread and needle i'm going to sew them together like this so I'll sew it together to secure it so when it's together like this I'm going to cut it off or before I cut it off I'll attach it to my hairband so to attach it to my hairband I'll place it on my mannequin to know the exact place so you can either place it in the middle like this it to fall a bit towards the nose area or on the side so i think i prefer it on this side so i'm just going to hold it like that remove it on my mannequin and then i'm going to tack it to my airband using my needle and thread okay so you can see now that i'm i'm sewing everything i'm not doing any gummy so that it can hold it in place and last longer so as much as you can try to sew okay so i'm sewing it to my airband i keep sewing it around you can see the inside till i'm sure that it is held together then i'm going to tie it so you can see how simple it is to make this so once I have it firm like this, I'm going to tie it together and then I'll cut it off. Okay. So I'm looking for a way to tie by passing it underneath one of the threads that I already have. And then I'm going to make a knot. So that's how I intend to tie it together. just open it up 
and then tie my two threads together okay so i'm done so i'm going to place it on my dummy head now to see what i have and i can see that it is placed exactly how i want it so now i'm going to decide on what i'm going to use to embellish this i have these two roses and also these ball trees okay so now i can decide to add my rose here to embellish it or i can use any of these depends on what you actually want okay so i've decided i'm going to place this ball i plucked it out of the stock i'm going to place it in the middle here using my glue and then i'll place the two roses beside it like this using my glue so this is what i'm going for okay. i've glued my trimmings to it like this and you can see how beautiful this is looking so on the wrong on the other side like this where we're having this black thread this red thread showing i'm just going to cover it up with a piece of black fabric using my glue like this so that it will also be neat on the inside like this 